We have some seriously good news in today's video. In case you haven't heard already, Alphalete's finally given us a little break on our wallets. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. That is right, we have great news in today's video. Number one, our support codes that you have so graciously been using are now discount codes. That's right, every single time you use a support code, it will now give you 10% off your entire order. So let's do some math, shall we? If you're buying one Amplify legging at $72 full price, you can now get it for times Point, what? You will now save $7.20. Now we're gonna times that by three or better yet, four amplified leggings, because you can't just buy one, right? And you just saved yourself almost $30. So instead of paying $72 for an amplified legging, you're now paying 64 and change, so $65. And of course, the second piece of good news, which I'm sure is why you're here to begin with, is we got some new Amplify restocks, finally. Those real big hitter colors that were just gone and never to be seen again. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite colors that will be available during this restock. These will be dropping this Saturday, June 11th. So we're gonna be going over what's releasing, the colors, we're gonna talk sheerness, that's very important. I've already reviewed the leggings themselves a million and one times, so I'm not gonna go into such a repetitive depth in this video, but we will be going over what's new, such as these Amplify crop tops, I know you see that, and some size comparisons. I actually have shorts and leggings, both in a size small and medium. We're gonna do side-by-side -side comparisons, so you can see. This is one of those tricky materials where it's like, should I be a small, should I be a medium? Should I size up or down? Like, which one's good for you? We're gonna go into that. But before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ton more videos just like this to come. We review activewear every single week on this channel. Obviously, Alpha Elite, Gymshark, and Buff Bunny, which, by the way, have you heard about Buff Bunny's sale? Stay tuned on my Instagram stories. I'm gonna be reviewing all of my favorite pieces that are gonna be on sale. It's gonna be an up to 80% off site-wide sale. So believe me, Buff Bunny's one of those brands, high quality, that you're gonna wanna add to your wardrobe. And for some more exciting news we actually hit the 50k mark here on YouTube our little family it's slowly growing it's getting there I just want to take a minute to thank you guys so much for your love and support for Bay and I it's our lives we work hand-in-hand hand on this channel he does the editing we do the filming together like right now he's right here with me watching me making sure I don't up. So I just want to take a minute just to thank you guys sincerely. I really appreciate it. Never really thought we'd get to this level here, but I'm so glad that we have. It's very exciting. And to thank you, we do have some really exciting 50K giveaways coming your way. We're just in the works of planning it out right now. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And might as well drop a comment. If there's something in particular you'd like us to give away, let me know in the comments. Let's generate some ideas here because I want to give back to you guys in a way that you want. So let's first talk about the Amplify leggings and what colors are going to be launching slash restocking. We have evergreen, French blue, mocha, titanium pink, pure blue, and black. For the shorts, mind you, these are the 4.5 inch inseam. Evergreen, chocolate, French blue, mocha, titanium, pink, and black. So as you can see, each item is going to be in slightly different variations. For example, the shorts are not coming in the pure blue. And last but not least, what's launching is this new, brand new crop top. So you know they have the Amplify long sleeve crops. Now they have short sleeves, perfect for summertime, yay. We have evergreen, chocolate, French blue, mocha, titanium, pink, and black. So as you can see, there's no long sleeve crop tops or sports bras launching. It's just the 4.5 inch short, the crop top and leggings. Now keep in mind, even though this is a restock, AKA stocking up on the very popular colors that are sought after, this is not the same material as the very old Amplify. I've been getting questions like that. Well, if it's a restock of the old, does that mean it's all the old material? It is not, it is the newer material. Starting with the shorts, these are my favorites. Obviously, I already talked about it nonstop on Instagram. The pink, this is a hot pink. This is a summer, hot midsummer pink. I also love the evergreen, complete polar opposite. This is absolutely full in a nutshell. The French blue, I already have the French blue in the leggings and I 
love this color because it's almost a grayish blue. I feel like it's a really pretty cool tone, which if you know me, is very rare. It's almost a tinge of purple to it, especially in this camera. You can see like a little tinge of purple. And last but not least, for a more staple gray color, I got the titanium. And for leggings, I got the French blue again. I actually grabbed these because it's a different size. So I'm gonna be having a small and a medium French blue leggings so you can see how they look. And I went with the evergreen. When it's legging time, this is what's gonna be coming out. So I figured green for the fall time. And I went a little ham on the crop tops. I got the staple black, the French blue to match. And of course, to match the evergreen, I had to grab that one too. Hey Ash, did you purposely match your lipstick to your outfit? Why, well, yes I did. Let's start with the crop top. So it's a lot like the long sleeve in many ways. Biggest similarity is right here. I noticed with this crop top, love, first of all, I love that it's lightweight. I love that this is a summer style crop top. Just like the leggings, I feel like the material as a whole is extremely lightweight and just made for hot weather or being very hot and active at the gym. With these short sleeve crop tops, I'm wearing a small in all of them. This top is not as form fitted as you would think. For example, when you move, when I'm moving all around, it starts to wrinkle, it starts to bunch a little bit around here. It's kind of moves on its own. It's not as glove body fit as I anticipated. It is very similar to the long sleeve. The long sleeve does that too, but I feel like this just has a little bit more let up even than the long sleeve. However, if I were to size down, right here on the sleeve area would be a little too tight for me. So what I'm gonna do is stick to my true size small because I'd rather there being a little bit of room here then there be a little too much cinching around my arms. With that being said, a huge thing I notice with their crops, their long sleeves, all that, is the amount of ride up you get. So for example, I'm wearing the Amplify white sports bra underneath. Any other sports bras are gonna be seen. So if you're going like this, you're gonna be seeing underneath. So keep that in mind. If you need to grab a sports bra that's gonna match your outfit, don't size up because this is just gonna be way too baggy. Don't size down unless you want some sleeve cinching syndrome. So let's talk shorts. I did size up to a medium in all of them. It's the best thing I ever did when it came to the Amplify shorts. As you can see, my size medium. Usually I'm a size small, like in the leggings, I always grab a small. The shorts are now a medium for me. I love it because there's not as much cinching around the thighs, even though with the medium, I still get a little bit of cinching. I don't think there's anything you could do to avoid that. I just feel like it's the fit. Because keep in mind, when it comes to tight fitted shorts, you have a little baby seam to keep it in place or else it'd be rolling up all the way up to your gooch. Even in the medium with this pink, I'm still getting a really nice compression while it's still being very comfortable and not snatching in too much and causing a muffin top. And it's surprisingly squat proof. And I'm wearing dark undies. So we're looking at what, almost 90% here. Now again, this is a medium, so that's probably why it's extremely opaque. So keep that in mind. The material on the bum is not being stretched as much as it would if I was wearing a small. So if you're somebody who's very concerned with sheerness, and if you can get away with sizing up, because again, this is very stretchy, lightweight material, then I would suggest sizing up, man. You might conceal a little bit back there. All right, how about some French blue? Now I have these in the leggings. I love them. I wore them all winter long. Something about gray just works with me because it'll go with any of my accessories. I always pick white. So this is the white Amplify sports bra going flawlessly. You still have, by the way, I wanted to mention you still have the sewn in integrated text logo. So it's sewn within, not printed like the crop top. So definitely keep that in mind. The crop top is printed. So be careful when washing. Always do it on a cold setting, very light, delicate, if not wash by hand. I know some people do that, can't go wrong with that. And then lay it flat, dry. Do not put heat on this because that logo you see that looks so nice, is just gonna peel up and piss you off. Just to show you an idea of the stretch in this, just like the leggings and shorts. So what do you guys think of French blue on French blue? Comment down below. You do have the Marl Breakup, which is darker. So we're seeing a little bit of sheerness right around the glutes, right at the meaty area. So even though the material gets a little bit sheer right around here, a little bit white, I'm not seeing any undies, so. Speaking of French blue, here's an example of a small and a medium side by side. Right now, I'm wearing a medium, which I believe is my first time wearing a medium in the Amplify. The length for a medium on me, five foot three, mind you, no bueno. We got a lot of length going here. Now let me try to cinch it up, because that's what I do with my smalls. So 
So I'm seeing a bunch of bunching around the knee area, back behind the knee. I feel like there's just a little too much material for me and my five foot three bum. So a medium might not be quite right for me and my body type. It's not as compressive around the waistband, obviously. It's a size up, which I don't mind. I don't need anything highly compressive. I actually prefer like less compression around the waistband. The glutes are still looking pretty fire. <laughs> I don't think anything back here will be sacrificed if you size up. I do feel like the integrity of the scrunch is still fully intact, and I think it still does the job even when you size up. It's right around the extra material area on the front is where I'm just like, mm. What I will say is the medium leggings are appearing 100% squat proof. So let's go ahead and try on the smalls and compare. First thing I noticed when putting on the smalls, actually Bay looked, not me, because I can't see back there. It's about 85% squat proof, so it really does change the sheerness if you size up. Now, because I don't really care that much, I'm gonna stick with my size small with the leggings from here on out. In terms of length, I did shimmy it up, and it looks a little smoother than the mediums. Less fabric bunching, for sure. If you're someone who's unsure whether you should size up or down in the amplified leggings, here's my thoughts. If you size down, you run the risk of it being a little too sheer back here. So if that's a main concern of yours, keep that in mind. You also will get more tummy control right around here. So if that's something you desire, then maybe you should consider sizing down. Again, you probably could because it's so stretchy. If you size up, I do believe that the sheerness would be a little bit better, but I also think you run the risk of it being a little too lengthy and a little too much material bunching in certain areas. So if you're in between sizes, it really does just depend on your preference. We're looking at titanium in a size small short. So whereas I love the mediums, and you just saw a medium in the French blue, this is what a small looks like. It's not a huge crazy difference. There's not like a, a, a crazy, oh my God, look at that crazy cinch here. It's not horrible, but I always do prefer just to grab a size up when it comes to the fitted shorts. And because these are a small rather than a medium, when I do squat, you see a little more sheerness right on the glute area. So the cheeks are turning a little bit white with this fabric when I get into a low squat. So of course I'm gonna rather grab the size medium just to avoid that, even though I have to say the Amplify shorts aren't horrible in this department. Believe me, I tried other brands where their tight fitted shorts are like suffocating my quads, making my legs turn blue and such. This is not bad, but I'm gonna go with my size medium from here on out. I just, it's just an overall mental thing for me. <laughs> and it's just overall more comfortable. So we're looking at evergreen and medium, small in the crop top. This is what's messing my hair up. Oh my God, fuck. It looks like a dirty green. It's dirty, it's grungy. This is the kind of green you could just roll around in the dirt with and you wouldn't even notice. No grass stains, no nothing. What are your thoughts on the 4.5 inch inseam? Comment down below. These are perfect for me since I do really love biker shorts. These are second runner up because they're not overly short. They're a real comfortable length on me. In this color, in this size, we are looking at 100% squat proof. So if you're looking for a really nice, different kind of dark color to rock, that's really squat proof, check out the evergreen. So we got the small evergreen leggings. Again, this is just a perfect fall color. I wanna pair this, since there's a lot of black undertones going on in this legging, I thought it'd be cool to actually pair these leggings with the black crop top. Let's see. Oh my God, don't ever get these if you're trying to have a cute hairstyle, forget it. So this is a pretty cute mix because you have a ton of this black throughout the legging if you look really closely. I feel like the black crop top, if you're gonna grab one crop top, grab the black, it'll go with anything. I already have a staple black, I already have a staple black pair of amplifies, so I just knew having this, it was an all black set, would look sick. Yeah, how are we looking back there? It's hard to see when it's this dark of a color, but I'm assuming it's looking decent. I gotta, I gotta step up my hip thrust game. I've been out of the gym quite some. Honestly, guys, I haven't been to the gym in, what, maybe a month or so? Ooh. Once I got the dreaded COVID-19 afterwards, I was just anti going to the gym. I just needed some space. I've been doing a ton of home workouts, ton of HIIT, a ton of yoga, and walking outside and getting some air. And since the weather's nice, I just don't desire being in a gym. And this happens every year. You ask me when's the next time you're going to the gym, I'm gonna look at you and go, I have no clue, because I don't plan on it right now. <laughs> but I will tell you the next time I'm going out in the sun and get my steps in, and it's right after this video. You just gotta move, all right? They got me a Fitbit for my birthday, and I can't wait for it to come in. A little 
early birthday present, I wanna track my steps, and I cannot wait. Who out there has a Fitbit? I know they've been out there for what, a decade now? <laughs> I'm always late to every party if I'm even invited to begin with, so this is no exception. I'm definitely late to the Fitbit party, but nevertheless, you know, it takes me a while to get onto certain trends, and I'm just excited for this one. I'm ready, I'm ready. All right guys, so those were some of my favorite colors that are gonna be dropping this Saturday, June 11th. Let me know if you are shopping this launch. I think if there's a color that you've had your eye on, now is the time, you just never know when they're gonna be doing their restocks again. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all. I'll try my best to help you out. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please do consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Also, thank you so much if you do use my discount code at checkout this Saturday or for any launches in the future. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video.